Welcome to my weekly spiel. Welcome to my weekly spiel. Yada yada blah blah blah. Yada yada blah blah blah. It's time for Margaret's weekly spiel. Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Margaret Franklin of Margaret Franklin Creations. And I'm here today to talk to you about Krishna off a dumpa ball. What is Krishna off a dumpa ball? You may ask. Inquiring minds want to know. Um, it is the name of a character from one of my cartoons that I draw, but uh, you've probably seen the post, my most recent post in People Who Actually Recover from Coronavirus, 23 Emotions People Feel But Can't Explain. I wrote this down in my journal last night because I was feeling inspired. Uh, now where is it? Yeah, Krishna Rappadumpagal. A complex mixture of feelings including Frustration, confusion, helplessness, uncertainty, and being overwhelmed, especially when things are unresolved, rely on various details, and you feel like there's something you should be doing, but there's really not that much that you can't that can be done, at least for the time being. It feels like if your life were in a book, there are several huge holes in several consecutive pages that you are having to work around or find creative ways to fix. The word Krishna of Dumbledore originates from the surname of an extremely flagellant character in my scrapbook journal whose farts have blasted several holes through the pages. These holes and what I've done with them represent coping through times of adversity. Most of us are battling feelings of Krishna of Dumbledore dealing with the coronavirus because we're all experiencing its effects one way or another even if we're not actually sick. The death of a loved one often causes us to experience Krishna of Dumbledore because it leaves a huge void of grief and we often struggle with feelings of wishing there was something we could have done to fix things, prevent it from happening, things we wish we'd said, stunned by the abruptness of it all. Often Krishna of Dumbledore takes place when you are going through several things at once. There is all this confusion and frustration from the virus causing everything to be cattywampus while I await my upcoming surgery and Dave is worried because income taxes means he owes 15000 instead of receiving money. Krishna of Dumbo Golf can also encompass feelings of deja vu. Both times I awaited surgery, it felt like the end of the world approaching. The first time it was because my mom was dying, this time it's because of the virus. There is no instant cure for Krishna of a dumpa golf. The best thing you can do is pray, trust God, and throw yourself into your creative projects. I also noticed just before I drifted off to sleep last night that Mr. Krishna of a dumpa golf's last name, the last part of his name, is golf. And even though the holes are relatively big, if anyone knows anything about golf, it means dealing with a lot of holes. And I am going to show you the debut of Mr. Krishna Rafa Gump Golf. He was in my, my scrapbook. This was the last time I was under anesthesia. This is the great colonoscopy adventure. Here are my characters sitting in the waiting room and they're reading the newspaper. This happened at around the same time that due to the clown did that his daring rescue when those ladies were being harassed. Anyway, I was trying to think of a funny name for the guy sitting in the reception area, and I thought I, I thought of Krishna Rafa Dumbledore. It was the name of a character that my friend Sharon made up a long time ago. I'm trying to pull this into more light when we were kids, but I thought the, the, the gag practically wrote itself when, like, how do you fit a name like that on a health card? So here we go. Luella had a really bad cold, just like I did when she was going through like, several pages later. When she was going through this, uh, now we're cooking with gas, quite literally. <clears throat> yeah. Where was it? Continued on page 122. Yeah. 122... 121. Just like me, uh, this experience with anesthesia 
felt like I wasn't out at all. I closed my eyes and there was a humming sound. And then I woke up coughing and I'm thinking, oh no, they couldn't have done me because I'm coughing too much. Surprise, I was already done. And the, the neat thing about the colonoscopy clinic is they don't let you go home. Like it's the, the one place where farting is not only accepted but encouraged. They don't let you go home until you manage to crank one out. And, oh crap. What page is this continued on? Here we go. Art is the closest thing muggles have to magic. And I remember when I was there, there was this old man who had a fart that was a dr quite an enviable drum drum roll. So they're all having their farts. And here's Mr. Grishnoff of Dumpagolf. And kablam, there you go. He has blasted through several pages. He's even blown off his bum fur. <laughs> so that that does that many pages and i have incorporated his ideas or his goings on in like different farts and explosions in various pages of other books of mine what other cartoon stories like the the rubber duck story mr somehow ends up with the Mr. Krishna off the dumpel golf some, somehow ends up with a rubber duck up his butt and he farts it through the stratosphere and it goes flying all over the world and I hope that this has given you a bit of levity a bit of a tangent from this COVID virus fiasco anyway that's all I can think of for now I'm trying to get this done early so I can upload my video while I am getting the dishes done because the longer I talk, the longer it takes to loaderize. And for, for me to talk for five minutes takes an hour to upload my thing onto YouTube. If I talk for 10 minutes, it takes at least two hours, which is not fun. I've got better things to do with my life than wait for videos to loaderize. Thank you very much. So that will be all for now. And bye-bye, be back soon. Thanks for watching Weekly Spiel.